Good day grade lemons. welcome to the first lesson in week number three. In this lesson we still continue with Newton's laws and application of Newton's laws and we are going to be looking at the difference between force and free body diagrams. This is actually a very important concept because if I ask you to draw a force diagram and you draw a free body diagram or vice versa you actually cannot get marks for it in the final exams. So please make sure you are drawing the correct thing. So let's look at the force diagram. is a picture of the object with all the forces acting on it drawn in as arrows. So let's do an example. It says a box is pulled along a straight horizontal road by a rope at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Draw the force diagram. So okay, so this is quite an easy one because we've got our horizontal road and our box. Okay, and there is our rope. Now the rope is pulling at an angle of 30 degrees. So we could say that, that is the tension of the rope because we said a force in a rope is always called a tension. But there are two other forces acting on this at the moment. In fact, there might be three. We're not told about any others, but we definitely know that there is a force of gravity that is straight on. Okay, force of gravity. And what else is it? Well, this is on the straight road, which and therefore it, the road is holding the box up, and therefore there, and therefore there is a force up, which is the normal force F normal, and these forces, the force of gravity and the normal force, are going to be equal in length. Okay, and that's all the forces that are acting on this. Now please understand if they had said that this was a car being pulled along the straight road, I don't know why the car be pulled, maybe it didn't start. You can still represent it as a box. I mean, as you can see from my drawings, I'm not really an artist. So you can, when they say it's represented by a picture, it can be, your picture can be a box of the object, for example. Also, as I always keep telling you, you can do this using, well you must do this using a pencil. But you also need to be using a ruler. Now I can't use a ruler on my pen and um, electric digital pad, so that's why my forces sometimes don't look like beautiful straight lines. But you should be using a ruler and a pencil, and therefore these should be beautiful straight lines. Right, so that's a force diagram. Let's look at a free body diagram looks like. So free body diagram, instead of having the box or a person drawn in, we are now going to use a dot and all the forces acting on it are drawn as arrows pointing away from the dot. Okay, so instead of her, we are going to draw a dot. Okay, so that's pretty easy. There's our dot, colored in circle. Okay, right, now she's on a slope. So what I do to always help me get my angles right is I draw a little dotted line, just to give me a reference of where the slope is. Okay, now let's think about this. What do we know? We haven't been given any information, but we know for a fact that there's always going to be the force of gravity straight out. Force of gravity acting on her. And there's going to be the normal force, which is always perpendicular to the surface. So that's why I draw my dotted line in, in so that I can try and work out what's perpendicular. Okay, so that is F normal, the normal force. And finally, if they had mentioned, you cannot draw it in unless they tell you otherwise, but if they had mentioned friction, do you see that she's moving this way, right? So therefore the force of friction would be in the opposite direction, always parallel to the surface. So therefore we could have drawn in a force of friction. But this force of friction is only if we mention it. Okay, so free body diagram, you need to put a dot, colored in circle, with all your forces coming from it and they have to be labeled. Please grade 11s, I do not want to see a tiny dot and then you end up having to do this type of thing and I can't see where it is. No, your dot has to be big enough so that all the forces can be coming off of it at 90 degrees to the dot. Okay, and that there is the difference between force body, force diagrams and free body diagrams. Please go practice, make sure you can do them because they're going to be a significant part of your curriculum on physics from now on. Have a great day.